is in every field. It's not only in your field. Just paying attention to details. Hi, my name is Mustafa Anjai, and this is the Real Estate Lifestyle by TAF. I'll be sharing my experiences, not only from the work that I have done from over the past 48 years, but some of my successes and failures in the hope that I will inspire and motivate all of you to dream big. It will be shared on all my social media handles, so don't forget to follow, like, share, and subscribe to any handle of your channel. Uncle Taff may be into real estate, but inspiring the youths is something he is very passionate about. So today, we follow him as he inspires young designers graduating from Ida's Ideas here in The Gambia. Um, this is going to be our first mentorship session for the year. So he's going to share his knowledge, um, experience, and you guys will be free to ask him questions that can help you in your business ventures as well in your future. It's a bittersweet. You know what a bittersweet means? For near. <laughs> because I'm really disappointed there are no guys here. And in the fashion world, guys are there. And there's money in the fashion world. Let me just ask you a question. If somebody meets you, what do you see first? Outfit, yes. Apart from the facial recognition, because if somebody comes in now, for her, Obviously, you have to recognize, recognize her face. Now, apart from this, what do you see now? So that's how important it is. It is so important that a dress or clothing, it speaks, and it speaks volumes. So you need to understand that the first thing you need to address is the way you dress and what you're putting on. If somebody walks in here, a guy with the trouser there, what would you think? Same, you will not take him seriously. But if somebody comes here nicely dressed like the way you guys are, you know, you say, wow, that's a beautiful girl. That's a well-trained girl, you know? So, so it's important how you dress. It speaks between, even before you say who you are. But before I go into whatever I want to tell you, um, let me just give you my background about tailoring. When I was about 13, years old, living in New Perseverance, where my parents had a house. I was going to Gambia High School, and Gambia High School those days, it's like trying to enter the Gambia University. Because there were only three high schools in the Gambia. I think a fourth one came with Nusrat. But for us, going to high school was a problem. And when you were in high school, it was like you were a university graduate. People looked up to you, oh, you are smart you should go into something white colored. You cannot be seen doing anything technical. You cannot be a, a, t a tailor, or what we call now a designer, after you've left Gambia High School. You cannot be a carpenter after you've left Gambia High School. So because it was noble, you were seen to be smart, you were seen to be the creme de la creme, but I was in Gambia High School, living in New Perseverance, and right opposite us, you know, there was a shop there where some Senegalese tailors were. Now, in entrepreneurship, there's always an argument. Whether you are born with it or you are trained, the scholars are still arguing about it. You know, people have different ideas. Oh yeah, you can be trained to be an entrepreneur. But for me, I think fundamentally, you have to have the skills, you have to be born with it to be an entrepreneur. It's some skills, God-given skills. It's like football or any game. If you have two children that you are raising, you know, and you put them in a field somewhere, one will be more skillful than the others. Why is Sadio Mane more skillful than any other um, African? It's God-given to him. Just throw the ball to him, there's certain things he does. But no matter how skillful you are, you need a coach. You need to be trained. I have a feeling that I have some skills that I was born with it. So when I look at something, my entrepreneurial mind comes out. And what that entrepreneurial does is to make something out of nothing. A good entrepreneur, that's what he does. 
When everybody sees something and say, oh, no, it's not possible. But an entrepreneur always says it's possible. And then using his skills as an entrepreneur will do certain things. around 1971 or so. So these Senegalese tailors were right opposite our house. I used to sit there with them and ended up being an apprentice. Apprentice meaning apprentice. Learning the trade. But not only learning the trade, I was doing it because I was also making money. So you see the issue of making money. So if I was under the microscope at the time, somebody would have told, oh yeah, that's an entrepreneur that's coming up. So I spent time there after going to school, coming back, going for my studies, the next thing I'll sit by them, you know, and they will give me some basic things. Those days, Aida, I mean, nowadays, you guys, you have, you have all your machines, you know, you just press a button and everything works. No, 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 no. Those days, you will develop your muscles <laughs> like this, huh? And um, what we did was, first, I'll just show you, I brought one of my clothes so I can show you some of the things. So at least you will, I don't know how you call it. I don't know the right names. That's just from the laundry. So I, I just thought I'll bring it. So just to be practical, I'm sure you guys know the name, you know, you're, you're better trained. So, you know, the trousers there, like you see, this is modern, very modern. Those days, this never existed. Because they're Senegalese, we call it zigzag. So it was my duty as an apprentice that I will be doing like this. Moving it to just to just to hold here, whatever you call it, you guys are the experts. The, to finish it up, so I will do that. Number one, then you know that that's um, uh, when they're joining the the, the, the the trouser, and then when it's ready, I will iron it. And then those days were the days of turn up. You guys know turn up. So so I will then do the turn up, and then put the buttons. I will put attach the buttons and then iron it and pack it like this. For the shirts, I will iron it. Those were the days of tail shirts. You know, again, do the hem, you know, do the button holes. Button holes used to be done manually. So I'll do all the button holes for them, iron it, pack it. And in life, generally, whatever you do, try to do, be the best. So don't take it for granted. People say it very often, Kubuga Nyawluba, Madam Senegal. Why? Because they are so trained and they, they, they love what they are doing. They are so skillful. They are just paying attention to details. That's the bottom line. And it's in every field. It's not only in your field. Just paying attention to details. That this, this column is to be there. It has to be straight to the nearest fraction of a millimeter. And you, as the tradesman, you have to be self-satisfied that you have done it right. And you are not doing it because Madam Conte has just told you, oh yeah, you have to do it. And oh, I gave a soft wire, no, that has to change with you people. If you want to compete. We are living in a world that is global. And I do it very often. I give out these dresses as president, as, pre as presents. The reason why I'm saying president, I have an example. I went to see a president. I will not name his name. And he just saw what I wore and he admired it. He said, wow, this is lovely. He said, Your Excellency, can I do one for you? He said, really? I said, yes. So that's why I took this out. Yeah. At any time in my life, in my bag, yeah. I have this with me. I have a measuring tape. So the simple thing I did was, I took his measurements. So within a short time, it is done. And then we work on collection. But again, technology, that's where we are living today. If you go on Instagram today, people are buying stuff from all over the world and it's being delivered. So if you guys do very well and you are doing things right, you will have a Zambian ordering things from you here through your own social media pages. That's what life is about. <laughs>